Salam and hello everybody. In this video I share what a day in the life looks like as a mum of six. This was on a school day so my older four kids were at school and I had the younger two at home with me. So I woke up around half seven which is when I usually wake up and I come down around eight-ish and the first thing I do is uh, change the nappies of the younger two. Ayub is almost two, he's going to be two in April so inshallah I'm hoping to potty train him over the summer and it make life easier with just one baby in nappies. That's the plan anyway, <laughs> let's see how it goes. So yeah I get Ayub ready and he usually goes along with my husband Akil who does the school drop offs in the morning, I don't actually drop anyone off at school in the morning. Yeah I get Ayub ready and then he goes off with daddy and drops the older kids off and that gives me some time to go to the bathroom, wash my face, brush my teeth. Just simple things like that. And then once I'm sorted, I come back down and uh, sort our breakfast. It was quite frosty on this particular morning. So I thought I'd make some boiled eggs. And I had a lot of washing that I needed to put on, so I was just filling the laundry. I gave baby Haroon some gripe water, I love that stuff, uh, he was a little bit unsettled and gripe water is just the best. And then Akil and Ayub came back and he loves messing about with shampoo, salt bottles, does my head in. Breakfast was ready, had my egg in toast, watched a bit of TV and I'll try and do an outing, at least one outing a day. And on this particular day, we were going to go to the library. And I needed to pop into Asda to get some school shoes for Uthman. His school shoes are a mess. I've been in a few times, they've not had them in stock. So I thought I'd try one other Asda and then, if not, order online. So yeah, we just off out. The weather was actually quite nice and fresh. It wasn't raining, which is brilliant. It's always brilliant when it doesn't rain in Manchester. Ayub likes to help me out with the shopping, which is very nice of him. Thank you, Ayub. So I was just in the kids section looking for school shoes for Uthman and lo and behold they didn't have his size so they had school shoes in they just didn't have his size then we popped into the library my second home i love the library and ayub loves looking at these stuffed animals i actually stayed away from the book section for myself because there's no point i don't get the time to read so yeah just looked through a few books at the library didn't actually bring any home because he's probably just going to rip them and i don't like that extra responsibility so just had a little read there And Ayub was actually more interested in the stuffed animals than the books. <laughs> and this woman, it felt like she was staring into my soul. I didn't pick these books, it was just there on the table. And then we got back home and I'm showing you a few things that I picked up from Asda. Some fabric conditioner. I got this pot noodle, Bombay bad boy. Akil loves that. It was on offer. And then I saw this candle on offer and it smells so nice. So I had to pick it up. And I'm making some lunch for Ayub with just some cheese on toast. He actually didn't eat much of it. He was quite tired and he took his daytime nap. And then it was time for me to do my prayer, daytime prayer. And Haroon was awake at that point. And then I'm sorting out some lunch for myself. This was really tasty. So it's just some tomatoes, spring onion, jalapenos and cheese on some toast. And then I grill it and it's delicious. So I'm just having my lunch and relaxing before it's time to get the older kids and before you breaks up again. And I'm feeding Haroon while I look for some school shoes for Uthman, which I did find. 
I've ordered them and inshallah they'll be here soon. And then Harun was playing, Ayub was still sleeping. That rarely happens, he's usually awake by now. And then it's prayer time again, Asa prayer time. And then it's time for the school room for me. Usually I bring Ayub with me, but he was still sleeping. Wonderful. There's Uthman. And then it's around four o'clock. It's getting a bit darker and I'm sorting out dinner. So with the meal prepping and meal planning, it was spaghetti bolognese night. So all I had to do was boil the spaghetti. I prayed my maghrib at this point as well, while that was boiling. Heat up the mincemeat sauce that I'd made during my meal prepping. And then I'm just serving that up for the family. Some of us like cheese, some of us don't. Nakia is definitely not a fan. I love my cheese. There's my kiddies having dinner, apart from Harun, because he doesn't have dinner just yet. <laughs> he's a bit small. Um, and then he's having a little play, he was awake. So obviously, as he's getting older, he stays awake for longer. And then the boys are reading their Quran. I picked up these trifle boxes from Asda for like 40p each. They were on offer after Christmas. So yeah, my eldest was helping me make it. And then I was making the sandwiches for school, sorting out the lunch boxes. Akhil had spread all the washing for me, so I didn't need to do that. Uh, the kids had done the washing up after dinner. So there weren't too many chores for me. And then I was having a quick shower, and Ayub had a shower as well, and he was messing with soap again. The kids are doing a bit of gaming. And our trifle was ready, so we had some of that with some tea. Ayub, this was nine o'clock now, Ayub was just messing about, jumping around. He was jumping on the bed so I had to bring him back down. And I was just enjoying Harun, mashallah, bless him. And then I think it was around 10 or 10.30, there were loads of dishes after dessert um, and the kids had gone up to bed, so I washed those. And then I just gave the kitchen a quick tidy up, nothing too intense. I didn't mop the floor or anything, even though it does need a bit of a mop, but we'll pretend it doesn't. So it looks clean enough. And then it's bedtime, the kids were sleeping. I just enjoyed my tea and I've been watching Death in Paradise on Netflix, which is good. It's a crime series. It's good. Watch it if you want to. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed that. Thank you so much for watching. Inshallah, see you soon. Salam. Bye.